Welcome to this new Alfresco video. We are talking today about the support for, of uh, Alfresco Docker images for this new R64 support, the ARM64 architecture in Alfresco uh, 7.3. So, um, as you know, in the last years, uh, this ARM64 or R64 uh, CPU architecture has been just uh, starting to be part of our uh, development workflow. So Docker started to support this architecture in, uh, back in uh, 2019, and also Apple started to use the new Apple Silicon chips that include this kind of architecture in November 2020. The previous architecture used for Apple Intel chips, but also for some other computers, is known as AMD64 or uh, x86-64. So this architecture was the, the main use for the Alfresco Docker images. But now with all these different possibilities, we need to, uh, to take care also of the new uh, development computers. And we need also to support this new uh, architecture in the Alfresco ecosystem. As you know, Alfresco is providing different Docker images for all the services. Since we are deploying Alfresco mainly with Docker Compose or with Kubernetes, so we are relying on Docker images. So this is the, the current structure of the final Docker images of Alfresco, the repository, search, search, ActiveNQ, Transform Corn, and Alfresco Content App. So these Docker images are relying on some other base Docker images. So by now, we have the base Java and the base Tomcat and also the engines as base images supporting both architectures, AMD and uh, Arch64. But we still don't have by default support for repo, ser, search, transfer corn, Alfresco content app. And the only one, the only final Docker image that is supporting uh, ARM64 architecture is the ActiveNQ. If you uh, move to the Alfresco uh, Docker Hub, so you can see that the Alfresco base Java is supporting both architectures. The same thing for the Alfresco base Tomcat and the same thing for the Alfresco uh, ActiveNQ. But for the other Docker images, we still don't have support for uh, ARM64. If you try to run these Docker images on some uh, laptop, like the new uh, Mac laptops uh, with the uh, Apple Silicon chip, you will find that it doesn't work, but it works very slowly. So this is why we need also uh, to get these uh, Docker images with the new architecture. So this is why we are providing this sample uh, script, this GitHub project available in uh, as Alfresco DockerX builder. So you have the source code available. It's just a simple uh, cell script that is able to build all these Docker images with the new uh, architecture. So uh, again, this is a cell script uh, designed to be uh, executed in Apple Silicon computers with the ability to build Arch64 native Docker image for Alfresco. These Docker images are stored in your local Docker registry, so they are not uh, pushed to some public uh, Docker registry, but still, even with that, you can run uh, locally your uh, Docker Compose templates or your Helm uh, deployments using this kind of Docker images built for ARM64 for your development purposes. So currently, community version is supporting repo, search, search, transfer corn, Alfresco content app, and also proxy. All these images can be produced in ARM64 uh, architecture. And for the enterprise, by now, we are supporting repo, search, search, and proxy. Remember that if you want to use uh, the enterprise version, if you want to produce enterprise Docker images for R64, you're required to add your Alfresco Nexus credentials. Nexus repository is the one used by Alfresco in order to uh, publish all the artifacts uh, that are available both for community and for enterprise version. So in the script, you have some space 
in order to add your credential for, for Nexus. So just remember to use that if you want to produce the enterprise version. Uh, and always and again, we are happy to get your contribution. So if you can think of something that is missed or if you have some uh, kind of uh, requirement, just please use a pull request or create any issue in the project so we can address this uh, requirement. The script is pretty simple, so you just need to run the script and then uh, just to uh, identify the Docker images you want to produce, in this case repository image, with the version of the repository image share with the version share search the same thing right so you can produce all these different artifacts locally in your uh, architecture and the same thing for enterprise but in this case with the ent suffix so repo and search and search and, and so on so with that you are getting your docker images with exactly with the same name expected by your Docker Compose. So we are producing this Docker image. So let's find, uh, for instance, the, um, the community repo. So this is the base. I want the repo. I'm going to find that or the Alfresco content app, right? That currently it's only produced in, in that architecture but we can produce exactly the same thing with the same name and with the same tag locally so this one is going to be picked instead of the one in available in in docker hub so with that you are able to run your docker compose deployments locally but using this new kind of of architecture and it will be working uh, fine for you we have also uh, included this uh, this new architecture on the uh, extension for Alfresco. So now I'm running an Apple Silicon uh, laptop and I can just run this, uh, this stack for Alfresco. And as you can see, all the images are uh, compiled for ARM64. If that uh, doesn't happen, you can find a sign to the right of the image, just to declare that this is not um, really a, an R64 Docker image. So all the containers you see that are native to R64. And finally, we can just get Alfresco uh, running successfully in your local environment. This is the same thing. So we were producing this kind of Docker images with this script. So you can use that also for your uh, for your developments. And before going with that, just yes, again, this is uh, as simple as uh, you can uh, clone the repository, you can clone this repository. And once you have uh, the repository and also the dependencies installed on your laptop, just yes, uh, copy this, this invocation, copy this command, and it's going to produce all the different Docker images, as simple as that. And finally, you have that on your local Docker registry, so you are able uh, to run that locally. Okay, so now this is finishing, and Alfresco can be uh, can be used in your local environment. So again, I hope that was useful we will be uh, pushing gradually all the images that are missed for both amd and arm64 architectures during 2023 but in the meantime if you are using an apple silicon chip laptop for development just remember that these alfresco docker image r64 builder project can be used in order to produce uh, your local image so you can uh, just uh, work <laughs> better so again, happy to share that information with you. Any feedback is welcome and see you next time.